Atlas is among the most powerful humanoid robots ever made, as he is unnervingly quick and skilled, even if it probably doesn't know your identity as Nadine did. And by far, the most well-known robot on the planet is likely Atlas, just after the release of a music video in which Atlas performs dances, backflips, and other moves. Most people found it difficult to imagine that it was actually true as its fame rose. With 28 hydraulically actuated flexors, Atlas accomplishes pinpoint locomotion. With a maximum speed of 2.5 meters per second, it can sprint, leap, spin, stop, and perform other actions. In essence, Atlas can accomplish practically whatever a person can do, and one day could even be able to do more. Atlas performed all eight objectives in the 2015 DARPA Automation Tournament, which included mounting an industrial ladder, moving across an occupational walkway, attaching a hose pipe to a standpipe, and switching on a lever. Such actions are quite intricate and require numerous faces. At some point, Atlas or comparable robots will start assisting in search and rescue operations, getting access and using machinery in places where people cannot live, despite being essentially a research station. The Pentagon asserted that there were no plans to use Atlas in combat, notwithstanding its potential. So, we'll have to wait and see if they stick to that statement as Atlas develops. After the debut of Atlas in 2013, Gary Bradsky, an artificial intelligence researcher, introduced a new species, the Robo Sapiens. Let's welcome Nadine, who continues the subject of robotic academics. Nadine is more than just a mechanical device. She is based on Professor Nadia Magnanat Thalman. She is a socially competent robot who can approach you, take pleasure in a chat, and recall it in the future. She will therefore be capable of continuing the dialogue you started. Nadine engaged with more than 100,000 people at the Art Science Museum in Singapore, which is even more astounding given that she can respond to inquiries in various languages and imitate some levels of feeling. And she currently works as a customer support representative for AIA Singapore. Interestingly, no matter what language you use to communicate, you can ask her any queries you would ordinarily ask a client service representative. And she will respond. It's strange to speak of a robot having a personal style, but Nadine's coded character is the key to her performance. And besides, Nadine employs a maximum of 27 levels of flexibility in her facial and upper body movements. Yet, her mood fluctuates depending on the topic of discussion. And soon, they might even be used as a foundation for care settings. In fact, Thalman envisions a future in which robots could accompany those with Alzheimer's disease. Also, social robots could be one way to deal with declining employment as nations around the world struggle with the effects of an elderly society. They could also become close friends with kids and the aged at the care homes. Robotics is typically thought of as being only cold and methodical. But Nadine is laying the groundwork for human-robot interaction to help people with special disabilities cope with life by having such a flexible social nature. The Human Plus The Future for Species display was just a starting point. From then on, Nadine has interacted with influential individuals, including His Excellency Narendra Modi, the Indian Prime Minister, and executives from Dutch Bank. Amiga has been the first robot to transcend the boundaries between social and physical robotics, as opposed to earlier robots that concentrated on one or the other. 
Amiga falls somewhere between Geminoid and Atlas in terms of social intelligence and agility. A human-like artificial intelligence thus, in fact, require a human-like synthetic embodiment in order to develop. She can also talk and convey her ideas using body language and facial expressions as developed by engineered arts. Amika, in contrast to other systems, is cloud-based, utilizing AI and machine learning technologies to continuously progress and profit from the most recent discoveries in the industry and other related fields. The design of Amika thus incorporate development. It can simply be modified over time because it is flexible. As an outcome, a humanoid robot that can converse and respond with about every facial expression you can think of is created. Oh, and by the way, it has 17 actuators and even makes human-like gestures when speaking. Amika took center stage at the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show. It's challenging not to be shocked that Tesla bot founder Elon Musk only had one word to say in response. Can you guess? Don't forget to put your answers in the comments. The robot is presently unable to run, flip, or walk like Atlas. But thanks to the modular structure, it won't be long until you and Amika are speaking face to face. Naturally, you may consider changing the outdated components as the crew streamlines the current ones. Humanoid robots are likely to become more prevalent in the future, and the following years will determine if robots rule or come to assist. Elon Musk is certainly thinking about it as he presented the Tesla bot in August 2021, after having forewarned about the risks associated with robotics and AI for almost 10 years. The Tesla bot is a humanoid robot that properly embodies the thrill of science. With its 5.8 height and 125 pound weight, it could traverse the physical experience like no other. Its moniker, Optimus Subprime, is friendly in every way. Optimus is a kind of employee robot that can perform a variety of tasks, and the primary position must be in monotonous, dull, or hazardous employment. Simply put, it is a labor that individuals avoid performing. The robot has been built to have a max speed of 5 miles per hour, allowing you to outrun it, and it is inadequate enough for you to defeat it. Given the previous production issues, most people are dubious about the Tesla bot's 2023 release date. As Musk noted, it's a generation removed from the auto industry. But Optimus has the possibility of developing throughout time into something more substantial than the auto industry. I believe we are all eagerly awaiting the initial version since it will change commercial and manufacturing activities if it is ever put into production. Anyone could be excused for thinking Geminoid DK was a human because it was made to accurately mimic the motions and expressions of a living being. Geminoid DK, a humanoid created at the Danish institution of Aldborg, has no issues with human actions. The humanistic component is the foundation of a humanoid robot. They must behave, appear, and speak similar to real people. The bot was actually based on Professor Henrik Scharf. Together with a group of Japanese experts, they constructed the head and torso to closely resemble Scharf's. Even a portion of the professor's actual hair was given for the robot's wig. And the outcome is an uncanny degree of precision unmatched by prior humanoid robots. What do you think? Geminoid DK functions on five different levels. Lip sync, face syncing, resting, online, and idleness. Geminoid is entirely a machine below its silicon covering and looks at things with auxiliary cameras and mics that are placed on the droid itself. It is, however, ignoring the fact that the surroundings are not being perceived by the Geminoid. 
Instead, Sharf uses telepresence to remotely manage the robot. Sharf is in charge of the robot's entire phase structure, which is controlled by a sophisticated network of compressed air in the robot's eyes, forehead, eyebrows, eyelids, and cheeks. It's an incredible accomplishment that effectively crosses the Twilight Zone. Considering this, everything is closer to a human being than the previous ones. Robots can be easily dismissed as a futuristic theory. We are conditioned to imagine robotics as something distant, irrespective of the fact that there have been movies for more than a generation that show technological automatons assisting humans. The truth is, it is closer, and that is what we will discover with Omega Tech.